guys welcome back my name is Fu, and today we are going to uh, paint the game left alone uh this game is about jewel uh you are jewel you are an ex-marine and you suffered some head trauma when you were uh, in, on one of the missions which meant that you ended up uh having to leave the marine even though you became a general or something like that don't get don't ask me about ranks um you are going to go out camping with your friends uh, and, uh, you know, you're going to go camping with them and they're going to go fishing. When you get to the campsite, you realize that your friends is not there. So you get a mysterious text saying that they want you to, to find them or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But you end up having to go through a small little maze where you are uh, basically you're doing small puzzles on the way and you have like certain places you need to go to the, the maps are quite uh they're, they're quite linear in, in a way as yes. they're, they're quite limited of where you can go uh but you need to go back and forth to certain places uh like for example you need to go here first and then you need to go here and on most of the locations you have something that you need to pick up you use e to pick it up and when you pick it up you go to the next location and then you use it on whatever item that you need to use it for so the actual puzzles are quite easy there are going to be restrictions where there are going to be doors that are locked or places you cannot go and so on. You might need a, a key code or something like that. And it, 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 you are going to eventually find them uh, in the, in the uh, map that you have. Um, some of these places are a little bit more difficult, as in it might be not completely sure where to go. Like if you need to go here or if it's in this room or in this room and such. Um, but in general, the solutions to the puzzles are quite logical in a sense. There are a few that is a little bit of an exception to that rule. But um, in general, uh, they're quite logical. You go, you pick something up, you drop it off at a different location. Or you pick something up to be able to open things on the way. Like, for example, a key card or so. And then you use that key to get into whatever you, room you need to go into. Uh The game itself uh, is quite easy. You have no weapons, you have a flashlight, um, and you can interact with E. Uh, so basically you go to an item, it's going to be a little bit of text on top of the item, and then you just interact with it, and then you have it in your inventory. You have no possibility of seeing in what's in your inventory. So for example, one time I picked up a, a bolt cutters, and it took me ages to understand because I thought it was the crowbar first, but fortunately it wasn't. But so I had to go around and accidentally bump into something that I could open that needed the bolt cutters. So if I would have known that it was bolt cutters and I could have seen it in my inventory, it would have been easier to understand what to do with them. But instead I ended up wasting a little bit of time running around uh, trying to figure out what did I actually pick up and what can I interact with. Um, it's very linear. You, you, for example, there's very difficult for you to find something ahead of time. There are a few situations where that could happen, but in general, uh, you find the items in, in the um, order that you need to find them. And I, some areas that you, if you have, for example, been in this area, you picked up everything, then this door will close and be locked so that you cannot enter it again, so that you know that you don't need to go there again. So it does restrict you a little bit in that way and makes it a little bit more linear. Um, the game itself, the story, it was decent. Um, it was a quite interesting story. Um, as with these games, the ending was kind of expected um, in a way because I've seen a lot of, like, this is a, a quite common theme in these type of games. Uh, so the ending was not shocking. It was a little bit expected, actually. Um, but it wasn't obvious. So if you don't play a lot of these types of games, then you will probably not. You will probably not guess the ending. Um, anyway, uh, I gave this game a six out of ten. I think it's a decent game. It was a little bit creepy playing it because of the different uh, the, the settings and, and the different sound effects and whatnot. Um, so I can't really say much more about it. So 6 out of 10 and left alone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate that. And as usual, we're going to end up with a very awkward dance. I'll see you. Bye.